back in the winter, we felled a couple of spruce trees because they were hanging over the public road. They are nearly 50 years old and big trees fall around here. We couldn't really take any chances, so we put a cable on them to make quite sure they'd fall into the field and not onto the road. Peter helped and so did Christine, Bridget and the other Christine. Thanks guys! That all went well, but that was a few weeks ago and it was only this week that we got around to trying to move them. The problem was not so much dragging them across the field, we could use two horses if we needed them, it was more the problem of the yards and the track and the road in between. I have learned enough using my new bandsaw to know that any bit of grit or stone in the bark could wreck the blade and they cost about 35 euro each, so I needed to lift the log clear of the ground. So I adapted the arch I've made out of galvanised pipe. My pipe bender won't bend very acute angles, so I just had to bodge the last part, so the bend would be tight enough and the arch would be upright enough. And then I welded the tubes onto some lumpy bits of channel iron. The advantage of an arch is that you can put it over the log, you don't have to lift the log onto the sledge. And then I made some runners or skis or skids to go under the arch. They are 4x3 timber pieces, but I drilled out some steel straps to go under them. I countersunk the holes so the screw heads end up about the same level as the strap. There could be a lot of weight involved with the bigger logs, but I really don't know how much weight, so I don't know how long or how big these skids should be, so I just had to guess. The steel straps are only 2 inches wide, so I used two in parallel on each skid. I attached a piece of angle to the front edge so I could screw it down to the top of the skid and then bend it around the curve. In fact the angle iron partially straightened out under the pressure which made an even better curve. And that's it, this is my slarch, and this is Flora pulling it. Now before anyone tells me I should have used wheels for this project, can I just remind you that anything horse drawn that has wheels on it needs shafts too to stop it running over the horse. And for a log of any length you would also need some way of pivoting it or you wouldn't be able to go around corners. So, it would have been a much more complicated and cumbersome project. And anyway, I don't have any suitable wheels. We chose a medium-sized log for the first trial, and it was right at the limits of what Flora could manage on her own. But she is a wonderful horse, and she tried really hard.
the log is lifted up in the arch and then cross pieces are put in under it that keep it off the ground and also keep the arch in shape without them the skids will be pulled together and it worked fine and Flora pulled very hard next time we'll get her some help Horses in the wild don't pull things around, obviously. It's a skill they have to learn. They have to learn how to use their bodies and their weight. And they have to learn just how strong they are. Flora has never pulled anything as heavy as this before. But Sandra encourages and reassures her constantly. And she grows more confident and skillful every time. Just about to go this chain. And eventually the log arrived back at the barn and I was able to put it on the railway trolleys and take it to the saw. The saw sliced it up into two inch planks and did a good job with it, I think. So, we'll call the slarch a success. And I hope we get round to a bit of slarching again soon. Slarch. <laughs>